Hey, what's going on, guys? It is your good friend, Matt. We are back again here today at the only place that we always can be. And as you know, that's Matt's Wrestling Collectibles right here on YouTube. Today, guys, we're doing a review, but not a figure review. We're doing a game review, something that we don't do often here. But today, of course, being that it is 2K season, it is WrestleMania season, it can only mean one thing. And as always, WWE has now dropped their latest edition of WWE 2K, 2K24 at that. And of course, we've got the deluxe edition here. We've got Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley on the cover. And today, guys, we're going to go through a little review of this game and some of the stuff that has been featured in the game. All opinion-based, of course, so obviously, if you don't agree with me, feel free to sound off in the comments. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, tell me what you agree with, and tell me what you disagree with. There is a lot to go over in this game, though, so we're going to try to make this a, a, a quick video to what it can be, right? A short video, if we can. Um... But I want to jump right into this and go right into the covers of this game. Obviously, the regular version has Cody Rhodes on the cover. This deluxe edition has Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, and as well as the WrestleMania 40 Years of WrestleMania. I don't know if it's the full game case or if it's just the sleeve that's over it, but it has many of superstars on it from all the years of WrestleMania, these past 40 years of absolutely incredible events that we've all been so blessed to be able to see. Some of us, uh, you know, and I know some people watching this video, have seen every WrestleMania live, and uh, that is pretty cool. You know, that's definitely something that I wish I could say I had done, but I did start watching my WrestleManias right around uh, WrestleMania 13, I believe, somewhere in that time, that that era of, uh, of wrestling, and, uh, you know, like I've told everybody, you know, 97, 98, uh, really started to uh, grasp onto the wrestling concept and have been running with it ever since. And uh, so, guys, you know, that's just to start with the covers, you know, three different covers. And I don't know if there's uh, some exclusive covers maybe in different regions, different areas. I know at times uh, they do that. I'm not sure if WWE has done that with this game, but maybe we will see some more of that down the road. But to start off today, we are going to go right into the showcase mode, the 40 years of WrestleMania. And guys, I got to say, what an amazing playthrough that was. I've already completed that from start to finish. And as many of you know, with this game, if you ordered the Deluxe Edition or the WrestleMania 40 Years, you did get this game pre-ordered on Tuesday, March 5th. The regular game will come out as of the, re the release of this video. You guys will be getting the regular version of this game come tomorrow, which is the 8th, which is uh, Friday the 8th. And uh, so you guys will be getting that tomorrow if you haven't already pre-ordered it and got it in your hands already. But at the time of this video, like I said, that'll be coming out tomorrow to everybody everywhere. So uh, let's get right into the showcase mode, though, guys. Uh, what an amazing showcase mode. A lot of great matches. I was happy to be able to kind of go through the, the typical stuff that we knew we were going to get. I mean, it was guaranteed we were going to get the WrestleMania 3, Hogan and Andre. I mean, that was just guaranteed. There were some other matches in there that I was very excited to have. I mean, obviously, we got the Hogan and Warrior for, you know, both belts, uh, as well as we've gotten some other matches in there that were iconic. We got Stone Cold with Bret Hart, you know, when Stone Cold taps out. Uh, or passes out, I should say. The Rattlesnake never tapped out in that match. But so many great matches all the way through and through. And one thing that I was very excited to see with this game was that we didn't get too much repetitive stuff. I, I, if a lot of you guys have played many of wrestling games as I have... We've played a lot of these matches time and time again. You know, the Hogan and Andre, the Hogan and Warrior, the, uh, you know, the Macho Man and... Um, and Hogan, we, we've played all these matches out so many times, the, the Stone Cold and Rock matches, I mean, how many times have we gotten into a game and somewhere in there there's a match where it's the Rock and Stone Cold and it's one of their three WrestleMania matches, it's just, it's, it's iconic, so we have to keep reliving it, but it's nice to see something changed in this, um, with Stone Cold, you know, for instance, we have him in his match with Ke uh, Kevin Owens at WrestleMania 38, so, very different from the Rock and Stone Cold consecutive, you know, matches that we were always getting in these playthroughs. Uh, I was very happy to see that we got Becky, Ronda, and Charlotte in their WrestleMania 36 triple threat match. That was very, very cool. Or that might have been WrestleMania 35. I apologize. WrestleMania 35, guys. Um, but so that was very cool to be able to play through on that. And, um, you know, it's just nice to see that there was... A variety, a little bit of a difference, you know, some things that maybe we didn't expect to see or, or expect to be able to play through. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, a couple of things that I will say with the showcase mode, 
it does jump a little bit. I really do wish that we had a WrestleMania one match in there. I feel like considering that it is WrestleMania 40 years, I think knowing what was done towards the end end of this you know production, it would have been really cool if we could have gotten the WrestleMania one on there as some type of match and ended up with WrestleMania 40 being where you know, you can pick maybe what story do you want to write? Does Roman Reigns retain the title? Does Cody Rhodes become the new WWE champion? That would have been a cool feature uh, for me anyway. But so, you know, with all of that being said, and uh, even in this, I don't have the uh, WrestleMania 40 entrance or stage venue arena, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that did come with the 40 years of WrestleMania package. I do believe that some of that stuff will probably come a along the way. Um, we've got five DLCs that are expected to launch from, uh, I think, like about two months from now starting. And they'll go all the way until, I believe, um, October or November of this year. Uh, and then at that point, obviously, they're going to want to get you ready for something new. So we'll be looking forward to 2K25. Crazy to think, right? It'll be here in a blink of an eye, guys. So don't <laughs> don't blink. It will be here. Um, but so getting back to the showcase mode, I, I just think there's a lot of things that could have been added to it that would have been nice. Um, you know, I would have liked to see maybe something more, um, with the NWO angle, maybe a little bit more with the invasion angles, uh, some other things that could have been put in there. I understand, you know, maybe not all the, the best match choices. Of course, somebody like myself who grew up through that period, you, you love to see it. Uh, some of you who grew up in the uh, generation of wrestling prior or maybe are growing up in the generation of right now might have wanted to see some other things or, or something different, uh, like I said, as opposed to what I think would be so great for the game. But nonetheless, showcase mode, Definitely very fun to play, a lot of action, a lot of unlockables. I mean, uh, we've gotten the John Cena, Bray Wyatt, Firehouse, or whatever we call it, Firefly, Funhouse match. Um, you know, we have that where at the end of that match, it's awesome. You unlock four or five different John Cena attires and eras. Uh, four or five different Bray Wyatts. It's very, very cool. And at one point, I know that some people were saying that Showcase Mode was going to be directed towards Bray Wyatt. And, um, you know, at that time, one of the things that I said was it's it's always unfortunate when somebody has to pass to be, you know, recognized at a higher level. And I understand, you know, that we do that for the, the reason of um, how much that we have dedicated our time to watching these people and how, how much we enjoy seeing them. So a lot of times it is sensible to have them, you know, um, put on a pedestal at that point, because now we no longer can enjoy what was available to us, you know, for such a, a long period of time. Um, I will say that I'm very happy that Bray Wyatt has a spot in the showcase mode. And I think it's very well deserved, you know, guys like himself, Stone Cold, John Cena, Hulk Hogan, um, you know, and the, and the list does go on, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, and like I said, I could just keep going here. But those types of people always should have a spot in these games. You know, they, they've made a big impact along the way, even um, in some of Bray Wyatt's later promos. I mean, you could really feel that this is what this man loves and it's what he loves to do uh, as much as we love to, you know, be entertained by it. Some of these people, that's that's all they know is to entertain. And uh, so I was very happy that he was, you know, featured in the showcase and, and very well at that. So, you know, of course, much respect to Bray Wyatt, you know, rest in peace, obviously, to Bray Wyatt. And, um, you know, big shout out to all the people supporting him as we move forward into the future, never letting his spirit go. And I'm sure Bray Wyatt will live on year in and year out through not only WWE 2K, but through all of our memories of him. So again, big rest in peace to Bray Wyatt. And, um, you know, thank you for all those memories. Um, moving forward though, let's just say this with the game, I would definitely give this game about an 8.8, .8, maybe an 8.9 out of 10. The showcase mode, I would probably give the showcase mode about an 8.5 out of 10, uh, 8.6 out of 10. I would definitely go, you know, right about it's almost similar to the game's rating, uh, maybe just a little bit lower. And, uh, a couple of things with the game though, guys, that, that I, I would say makes Little sense to me, but of course, this is something that could be debated for hours, for days. But let's talk about a couple of things. The elephant in the room. A um, couple of people that are on everybody's 
hot topic lately, which is none other than the man himself, Vince McMahon, as well as Brock Lesnar. So let me say this. You get to play as Brock Lesnar in two separate matches in showcase mode. You play against The Undertaker as Brock Lesnar when he beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, as well as you get to play as Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns up until Seth Rollins comes out to cash in his money in the bank. And um, this, there's a couple of things that bother me. So Brock has been a favorite of mine for years. Um, Brock, Cena, Orton, Batista, guys that were big influences as I grew up, guys that were um, taking over the spotlight, you know, and uh, I don't want to say taking over the spotlight, but in, in regards to how I, how I, I relate this often, I always say that when you look at Cena, Orton, Brock, and Batista, I see that they were there to take place from the Hogan's, the Undertaker's, the Rock's, the Stone Cold's. You could even go as far as the Triple H's and the Shawn Michaels, if I didn't already remember repeating myself, maybe. But you, you get what I'm saying. So to not be able to play as Brock in the game, but to be able to still play him in the showcase mode, which I understand is all a, a thing of, we didn't have time to switch all this stuff around and change this and change that, and I completely understand. But it seems a little off. It seems a little weird. The next thing that is very just, I don't know, you know, uh, you go back to watching the match with, you know, Stone Cold and The Rock, which is in the showcase mode. And, um, and maybe I'm not being exactly clear when I say that we've played these matches through and through very often. So it was nice to not have to have all of them in the game. You know what I mean? It was nice to be able to see Stone Cold in a match with Kevin Owens. And obviously you do still face The Rock in a Stone Cold Rock WrestleMania match. Um, WrestleMania 17, I believe. If uh, if not, it's WrestleMania 1917. Whatever it is. It's, it's one of these WrestleManias. It's WrestleMania 17. Let's call it that. Uh, it is WrestleMania 17, actually, as a matter of fact. But <laughs> um, we, we get to play as Stone Cold in that match. And Vince McMahon comes out in that match. Um, his character is, his, you know, his, uh, his person is there in the game. So you don't have Vince McMahon to play as. You don't have Brock Lesnar to play as. Vince is being blurred out in other segments of the showcase mode. It just, I don't know. Some of it doesn't really make sense. But I guess... Uh, to each their own. I, I again, you know, I I I, I want to unload so much about this, but it's um, it is what it is. You know, we're we're offered this game at, at what it is to, to us. Um, you know, for anybody who wants to, I'm sure they already have or they will very soon. You can go and just get Brock or you know Vince right out of the creations. Uh, people make these wonderful custom guys for the game. Big shout out to all the people that take the time to do that. I certainly don't do that. Um, so I appreciate all the ones that do because I go and I download your uh, pre-existing created wrestler, you know, of uh, of these iconic names and people that might not be in the game. So that is that. Um, to go into the game a little bit further, a couple other things, guys. Uh, we've done some Royal Rumbles. We've done some uh, turmoil, gauntlet matches, whatever they are. The, the, the mechanics run better. They definitely run better than they did in uh, 2K23. I remember even up till only a couple of months ago, sometimes I'd run a Royal Rumble uh, where 20-something people into a Rumble and then all of a sudden the game crashes. So I'm very fortunate that we haven't had that happen yet. Yet, I say. Um, also, too, here's another thing about this game that needs to be fixed. So if 2K, if you're listening, you need to know this is one thing that you got to get on and get done. Any superstar who has multiple attires, like so, for example, uh, you go and pick Ultimate Warrior. He has his Royal Rumble attire, I believe, is one of the attires he comes with as well. Or I think it's a SummerSlam attire, something like that. Um, and he also has his WrestleMania attire versus Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 6. So if you pick Ultimate Warrior for a Royal Rumble, let's say you're filling in guys, you pick him. The screen's going to pop up. It's going to say, which Ultimate Warrior do you want? Do you want this one or this one? 
Doesn't matter which one you click, you're going to get sent back to the decision menu and then you have to go back through it and do it all over again because you can't pick any of those guys. So if you're making a Royal Rumble right now, you can't pick anybody with a different option of, of persona. If you can't click them and that is them as, like for example, I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know if uh, Jimmy has one, but like for example, if you go and click Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, you'll click it, it'll say selected. He's in the Rumble. You click Jay Uso, it's going to say, what attire do you want of Jay Uso? Whatever one you pick, it doesn't matter. It's going to send you back to the other menu. So it's a little tough. That's a bug that I've come across. I haven't come across much more than that up to this point. No crashes, no glitches, nothing that's uh, really too crazy. Maybe little things here and there, but nothing nothing major that I'm like, oh, I have seen this time and time again. Um, but again, you know, there's so much in this game. There's so much to live through and play through. Like I said, the showcase mode is amazing. Uh, the My Rise, the GM stuff, all that, you know, uh, definitely seems as though it's been tweaked to better. You know, it's, it's definitely better than what it was before. It seems a little bit more, you know, uh, uh, able to be navigated easier, seems to be a uh, much easier play, you know, player experience, user experience. And, um, you know, so those are all just things that, that I would say this game has definitely upgraded. The graphics look amazing. Also too, last year I had purchased 2K23 for PS4. I then got the PS5 afterwards and started playing it on the PS5. You could definitely see the difference in graphics, but I will say this. Purchasing this game for PS5 this year and actually being on the PS5 and the game being for PS5, the graphics are amazing. And I don't know if you guys can even see. Oh, we, <laughs> we've already shut down behind us over here. We're done. We're shut down. That's it. Off and, off and over. Thought we had the screen on behind us with some gameplay, but uh, apparently we've uh, we've gone too long. We had a whole Royal Rumble on, some turmoil, whatever, match, gauntlet this, you know, whatever it was. And uh, it just it ran out too long, and the PS5 has shut down. I'm going to have to go into settings and fix that at some point. So, But yeah, we've done a, done a lot of simulated matches. We've played a lot of matches. It is a lot of fun, guys. If you haven't already, this is your opportunity, and this is your time to hear it. Go out and get yourself a copy of WWE 2K24. The world is yours in this one, and only you can take the chance to finish that story, as it says here, as we keep hearing. But... Uh, for WWE 2K24, like I said, I would give it a solid 8.8, 8.9 out of 10. That is my Match Wrestling Collectibles, the NWC score, as I always say. Um, but yes, the NWC score is definitely an 8.8, 8.9 out of 10 for sure. Uh, as I play this game even more, it might be a 9 or better out of 10. Also, too, guys, I do want to let you know that uh, before today is over and you're seeing this video, hopefully between today and tomorrow, I will have a, a little bit of footage that I might put up of the game being played. As you see right here, it'll be, you know, right up to the TV, and that'll uh, that'll be how we take uh, take that video. So I'm no streamer by any means, so uh, we're working with what we got right now. But things are getting better as we go. As I told you all, guys, I, I can't, you know, can't thank you guys enough. 800 plus subscribers on this channel uh this june coming will be two years on youtube so in uh under two years i plan to hit that thousand subscriber mark i appreciate all you guys for you know helping me get there it, without you match wrestling collectibles isn't a thing it would just be me collecting figures like anybody else and uh you know i wouldn't have a, a, an audience and a a great group of supporters that i am just enjoy sharing with you guys show so much Starting to get tongue tied here, guys. We've been talking for too long. We've been talking for too long. But uh, so with that all being said, you know, like I like I've said many times, you know, I appreciate us getting over that subscriber mark. You know, hitting the the 800 plus now on our way to a thousand. And um, I appreciate all you guys, you know, continuing to make these videos fun to make and put out. And uh, by tomorrow, like I said, hopefully today, tomorrow, we'll have some videos up, maybe of some match play, some Elimination Chamber, some Hell in a Cell, some Royal Rumble, you know, whatever. We'll uh, we'll go through a couple of matches. Maybe we'll post those up on here so you guys can kind of get an idea of what the gameplay is looking like in 2K24. But for myself, Matt, at Matt's Wrestling Collectibles, the only place that we always can be right here on YouTube. Until the next video, guys, stay tuned, and I will see you all then.